waiting until a couple more people get on. I didn't announce this live, so I might get called. Damn, I forgot. Let me see. Come up on this. I put it on airplane mode. What up, what up, what up, what up? Hope I'm getting a calls real quick. I just want to get a jump on and tell y'all, listen, happy Friday. Happy ticket day. Um, so y'all already know the Black Meek is going down on uh, October 13th. Um, guys, understand something, all right? A lot of people say I'm funny, and a lot of people think I'm always joking. So I want to express the difference between a joke and a funny story, okay? Um, going on and getting your tickets tonight, that's going to be the right thing. That's no joke. Sitting outside, looking like that, that uh, mean with old buddy is looking out the window with them tears in his eyes, looking at Black Nick happening while you're outside. That's not a funny story. I'm telling you right now. Y'all, the ticket sales have been in the pre-ticket sales. These are from the people that, you know, fuck with us in the past and we say, you know, we're going to bless up. They were out of control. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. But right now, Black Meek, you're an Alabama a and homecoming. I might get a Black Meek bomber jacket. You like this one? I'm going to get it. I'm going to put the link in the uh, bio. She made this bomber jacket. It's dope. The. I might get a, uh, a Black Meek bomber jacket. But anyway, I'm telling you right now. Y'all, ticket sales go on tonight at 7 o'clock, and it is like 94 degrees right now. So we're waiting on 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Friday, 95 degrees. But I'm telling you, it's about to be up. And listen, my phone also goes off at 7 o'clock, meaning that I will not have, I will not be able to answer anybody's phone calls under any circumstances. Um, I'll be there. So, Lady Styles, if your daughter just graduated, come up. And 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 guys, just just so y'all know, just to make sure we're clear, you know, alumni is for, I mean, homecoming is for alumni, right? Those people who went to A and M. So it's not a it's not a college party, it's not a college party. Just so you know. And anyway, what's in that bread? Um, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Delicious. Is that a peanut butter sandwich or it's peanut butter and jelly? Y'all like crunchy? Like I like mine extra crunchy. I don't know. And what do y'all like? Strawberry or uh, grape? I'm a strawberry guy. Right. If you slice the sandwich, it's like having two sandwiches and you get more. Anyway, what y'all want to talk about? Y'all want to talk about uh, Black Neat? I attended last year and it was a blast. Yeah. Yeah. A blast is one way you can call it. Uh, one thing you can say, you can call it a uh, call it a blast but uh this year gonna be off the chain i mean we literally almost sold half the sections in the first couple hours this is it's, it's out of control it's about to be out of control out of control battle i want you are you any related to uh any of the battles in huntsville how much are the tickets we have an early bird ticket price the early bird ticket price i believe starts off at 40 dollars. so do that Smooth and grape. Nope. Hotels. <sighs> Shit. Well, people are checking out on Sunday. I don't really know what to do to, to, about the hotel. Hopefully, um, if you're lucky, attending Black Meat, you might have a hotel package in there somewhere. You might be able to secure a hotel room. I'm not sure, but you, I'll let you guys figure that out. If all the rooms are booked during Black Nick, I'm pretty sure there'll be some openings. Pretty sure there'll be some openings. So you don't know. You never know. If you play cards right, it really depends on what, what kind of 90s outfit you wear. Do you know the Strugs family in Huntsville? No. I can't say I do. Uh, that sandwich is clean. No PP on it is. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a chef. Anyway. You'll get yours tomorrow. I'm telling you right now, you might want to get it today. You, he's He has lighting. It's gaslighting. And 
you don't know what gaslighting means, obviously, because you're thinking that gaslighting is the same as marketing, and that's not true. All right. What do I want to talk about? Let's see. Come on down the line. Any questions specifically related to um, homecoming, Black Neat? My needs come before my wants. Yeah, if, if, if that's going to put you out, then yeah, please don't. This ain't the spot for you. However, there's going to be more than 40 bucks there. there be some more than 40 bucks there. Hey, y'all, hey, this is something. What up, Jalen? Hey, this is something that y'all should fly in from out of town on. All right. Dates is 10 13 24. This is something y'all should fly in from out of town in. Y'all should get, y'all need to get your tickets right now. What's the 40 plus after the game? Not doing a concert. All right, let's, it's not your it's not your bag. It's cool. It's cool. Not your bag. What up though? Listen. Hey, Chicago, you need to pull up. You're still trying to get the champagne. Oh, we're gonna have some at Black Nick. I'm getting my tickets today. Got the email. Hey, tickets, sections. Hey, Sabrina, tell them tickets going down. It, this is, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. And first of all, thank you because it's, it's a, it's, I, we have it as a badge of honor because we really try. All right. What got me to start doing homecoming parties was the fact that it was like, man, at first I thought it was just a money grab and everybody just is trying to charge, charge, charge. And no one's really having that party. And so half the people over here, half the people over here, half the people, whatever, just, they're dispersed. And so we start doing events at Black. And it's like, listen, all we want to do is have a dope ass party. That's all we want to do is have a dope ass party and truly reminisce on those days. And so last year, I got to be honest, we went through so much bullshit with the city. I was like, look, man, I'm I'm done with it. I'm not doing another one at, 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 in a black parking lot because it got too big. And that's fair. It got too big. I mean, people parking up and down the street and everything. Uh, that hating ass church, progressive union, missionary Baptist church with the lead deacon. I forgot his name. Um, but uh, yeah, there's some hating. There's some haters. And, you know, I hope God doesn't bless him. I'm just joking. God, God, do what you want. Do what you want. If you want to bless him, bless him. But look out for you, boy. Anyway. So, you know, they're calling the police and roping off their parking lot and stuff. This is doing all kind of stupid stuff, right? So I was like, you know what? I don't want to be a bad neighbor. So we just said, you know what? We're not, we're not going to do it. Yeah, Sabrina, we sold, we sold over 12. So this year, we partnered with the camp. And, oh, my God. More room, better stage, better equipment, better hours, better better parking. Just, 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 just everything is falling into place. It's perfect. And so right now, and... So, so anyway, back to the story. The thing about it was anybody can be spontaneous, just, you know, do something one off and while you had to be there. But when people are really expecting you to do something and expecting it to be dope and you deliver, see, for the last couple of years, people have been expecting, hey, I'm going to go to black, go to black, go to black. And we delivered. But let me tell you something. This year. I'm telling you right now. This is, I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. That's why we want to handle so much business because I'm not going to work. I'm going to the party. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to have a good time. And I promise you, it's going to be so fun. Everybody's going to be there. So if you come now, I think more people are going to be there. It might be a tailgate type of event. Except the kids. The kids won't be there. The kids won't be there. He said, if you love the jacket, listen, I might get a black knee jacket. I might get a black knee jacket. If, if sales continue to do what they're doing right now, y'all need to, hey, eight o'clock. I mean, I'm sorry, eight o'clock. Ooh, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. That means we got three hours and 44 minutes. Tickets go on sale. Early bird tickets. Get your ticket, get your ticket, get your ticket. And then, um, like if I was up for my entrepreneurs, for my entrepreneurs, I would recommend buying a couple tickets. Buy a couple tickets. I 
I see people saying they like my jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got it from Brandon. I got it. I'm going to put the link to uh, the young lady who makes the jackets in here. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to get a Black Nick jacket. Like the back of it. It's going to say Black Nick on it. 2024. As we close out my Obama year, as we close out my 44th year in the year, it's my Obama year. All right. This is how you know this black nigga is going to be dope as hell. I turned 44 last year, so this is my Obama year. It's 2024, my Kobe year also. When your Obama year falls in your Kobe year. And then I thought about retiring, but then I'm coming out of retirement and I'm about to be 45. Like Mike Jordan, we're in the 4-5. Dropping a double nickel. I, I, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. I can't make this stuff up. This is, this is, is, I don't know. Listen, we living in the last days. If the rapture happens, well, I don't know if that, that probably messed my uh, sound up. Hold on a second. Let me see. Did that mess my sound up, y'all? Let me know if y'all can still hear me. Oh, weird person right there. Can y'all hear me? I'm waiting for somebody to say. All right, cool. Look. We're going to need some, um, some of y'all, not me, some of y'all, gonna need some um time to repent for your outfits that's okay all right so let's not pray that the rapture happens right after the after a black nick but um on down the line you you know i say black nick is a place that you might want to um just ask for forgiveness later you know just yeah the kids are not going to be there. The kids are not going to be there. Just, just, you know, do your thing. And all of that back in the day, we used to, back in the day, we used to, back in the day, we used to, it's going to be time. It's going to be time. It's going to, it's going to be time for y'all to actually, let, let's see what you had. Let's see what you had. So, um, yeah, Black Nick is definitely a day to um, look out for cell phones, look out for cameras, make sure that you're, um, you, when you go home, you still have a job because, you know, we, we don't like to, we don't really want to pay for our, our, our transgressions. Um, yeah, you got to repent for the outfits. I know people already that, 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 that they're making their outfits and it's a foregone conclusion what they're not wearing. So you're like, all right, all right. Uh, we'll put the link for where to get the tickets in the, in the uh, bio. Well, not the bio. Did I put him in the bio? I, I don't really, I don't really know how to do that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm gonna get someone. They're gonna tell me how to do it. Katrina, what's up with you and asking? Is this a, is this a Diddy party? Like, do you have something you want to tell us? Like, why be weird? And no, if, if that's what you're looking for, please, Miss Katrina, whoever you are, just you, go 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 lay on somebody's couch. Don't stand on ours. Yeah, you, you need to, you need professional help, sweet. Yeah, we don't want that kind of uh, event there. All right. <clears throat> Whatever Katrina was on, we don't want that person there. That's <coughs> that's the weirdness. Uh, yeah. So yeah, thank you, Sabrina. Can you drop the link in there? What she? Yeah, yeah, y'all killing me with this stuff, bro. Yeah, y'all just y'all must have just y'all must have just wanted it too bad. All right, sorry, sorry. Shoot, if y'all didn't get invited to a a, a Diddy party, that's that's on y'all. Y'all y'all probably weren't good enough. All right, do better. Yeah, yeah. Tell tell Katrina to go somewhere else with that, because because that's that's now she's being weird. Like the a and class of '96. There we go. I graduated high school in '97. Did you go to the Freak Nick, Miss Joy Muhammad? Did you go to the Freak Nick? Are we gonna see you on Hulu? This one. Hey, oh, by the way, this will not be. This is not gonna make it to um, in a television show. So you don't. You guys don't have to worry about this being out right now. So you're not going to lose your job uh, right away. You, you don't have to wait till somebody makes a documentary and then later on lose your job. 
But don't don't do things that you're gonna lose your job. Don't wear an outfit that you're gonna lose your job for. All right. Because I fired my staff. They wore some crazy stuff. Michael gonna be Michael gonna be half naked. He ain't showing me his outfit. We got a just I think it's a bandana like Tupac or some shit. Like it's it's, it's crazy. Yeah, people are playing the outfit. My outfit gonna be dope. I, I'm anybody that knows me knows fashion and choosing an outfit is the last thing I'm gonna do. Literally, I'll. I'll Go out and I'll buy an outfit and I think it'd be looking dope as hell. When I put that thing on, I'm like, man, I ain't even feeling this. Just wear whatever I've been wearing. So, yeah, that's why when, when y'all see me on the show, when y'all see me in person, y'all be like, dog, you ain't changed. You talking about changing my outfit because I don't. I don't change nothing. Wear the same shit all the time. But, um, oh no, I'm about to give y'all a hint. What's well, actually gonna be decent? It's actually gonna be decent. And, and and listen, listen, I'm not I'm not bullshitting. All right, the event is on October 13th. If I don't, if my outfit ain't hitting like that, y'all, y'all don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell. Me. First of all, you better have some fucking jokes playing because if you tell me my shit ain't clean. I'm going in. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna look at you up and down. I'm going in like we in high school. So, so if I'm not clean, just lie to me because and that's okay. But let me tell you something though. I feel like I'm gonna be dope. I bought my shit already. I actually I got it. it's coming. That it, it's coming in the mail. I'm like, Ooh, I'm gonna be, I heard all that. Everybody gonna know. Everybody in my circle gonna, ain't nobody gonna be surprised. I'm gonna tell everybody. I ain't gonna tell nobody. That's gonna be dope. And and if it if it ain't dope, then. That wasn't the one I was gonna wear anyway. My other one just didn't. I don't know. But I bought it enough time, so if it's messed up, then I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna get it back. But it it, it was some shit that I would have wore back in a, that that I couldn't that I couldn't afford back in high school. Believe that, because in high school, dog, listen, I'm tell you, uh, Don Junior. And I, 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 he don't know he don't know what uh, what he was saying for real because he was like, man, my dad had all the structure outfits. I was like, structure. Damn, your dad was rich. We were shopping at Jay Riggins. We could wear that shirt one time. That would be fading on us. But now nah, he he has solid. Dang, I wanna I wanna rock with that. He said, have you had someone tell you your fit wasn't hitting? Yes, ma'am, a thousand times. Am I the person that, that you get to? This is the most I've ever. This most companies ever got on the outfit in my life with this jacket right here. I don't. I'm not. I'm not the guy that gets compliments on his clothes. When you say Marceau, you don't think um, great dresser, you know? Funny, yes. Looks like Idris Elba, perhaps. Great dresser, not so much. No, that's not me. Oh, yeah. The outfit, the outfit going to be dope. The outfit going to be dope. Hey, y'all need to pull up. And, and, and ladies, actually, I don't care what y'all wear. That's between you and y'all significant other. Because... I already know. Um, what else? At any rate, y'all, I just want to call and have fun. Wait until T got back. We about to go out of town. But anyway, see y'all. Make sure I get the tickets tonight. The link is going to be in the bio or tagged in the comments. It's, it's, you'll, you'll see the link. You'll, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure you, you see the link. All right? At any rate, take a look at it below. Oh, and when you said it. I care what y'all wear. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I already got my lady. Peace. All right. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. That was Marceau's recent Instagram Live. He saved it because he is definitely um, promoting his Black Nick event that will be coming up. And it will be hosted by none other than Uncle Luke from Two Live Crew. Okay. So um, that's why, you know, he has to talk about your outfits, you know, your looks, your ensembles. Because when you hear the words Uncle Luke, and you know that's Uncle Luke from Two Live Crew, you know what type of energy that is going to attract. 
beyond Daisy Dukes and Holter Taps. I'm, I'm talking like I've heard crazy stories when I was a kid about two live crew concerts where like my friends may have overheard the adults in their family talking about what happened. Their dancers, you know, being on stage practically in nothing. And, you know, the their homies that are on stage by the time they're looking at these nearly naked dancers, you know, some people are having SEX on stage, allegedly, from what I have been told, crazy wild stuff. So I think that's why, you know, Marceau had to go live and kind of give some instructions on your attire, you know, and he said, definitely don't wear anything that will cause you to lose your job. And if you're not aware, um, Black Nick, that title of their party is influenced by the famous Freak Nick parties that happened down south at some black colleges in the late 80s uh, through the 90s. And so it was a there's there's video footage on YouTube. It may trigger you. It's girls being pulled out of cars. Um, you know, girls being rubbed on, you know, they're trying to pull body, body parts out of clothing, just really an extreme grotesque example of some men violating boundaries. And there is a documentary on Freaknik on Hulu, if you have a Hulu subscription. Now, if you've heard of the Freaknik documentary, then you know that there were some Black professionals who were trying to stop the publication of a Freaknik documentary because some of them were a part of the Freaknik festivities back in the day. They have since matured. They are professionals and they did not want their current jobs being compromised should their employers watch the Freaknik documentary and they were a part of it. So it's definitely a huge thing. Um, I was told by a man who worked at a black college that uh, he attended a black college that it started off as like a picnic. And then, you know, it just kind of got out of control. And then they renamed it Freaknik, you know, which totally set the tone. Now, my brother graduated from Jackson State University, and he's 18 years older than me, but he did not tell me any stories of a freak Nick, so I don't even know if he attended, and the rest of my siblings attended college up here in the North, including myself. So, yeah, if you were at Freak Nick and you're proud, out and proud about attending Freaknik, definitely, you know, give us your testimony in the comments. But there were a couple of things that I wanted to talk about from Marceau's live. And of course, everything that I'm saying in this video is alleged and just my opinion. And the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on his Instagram live is allowed for criticism. And thank you so much again for being here. Please hit the like button on this video Video, please share and subscribe. So Marceau actually brought up all of the BS, his words that he went through with local church leaders that led to the temporary closing of his lounge black. We saw this storyline being featured on the first half of season seven of Love and Marriage Huntsville, where according to Marceau, um, they did not pay a sales tax on furniture that they ordered online from Amazon and Wayfair.com to furnish black. And because of that, local church leaders allegedly was able to get black temporarily closed. And allegedly, they were also making phone calls to the city of Huntsville complaining about Black. So Marcel said in his Instagram Live, basically the way that I interpreted it, that he was discouraged or angry about all of the BS that he went through with local church leaders, that he was not encouraged to host any homecoming events. But he did say that homecoming is huge in the Huntsville area. And from what I gather from my friends who have graduated from historically black colleges and universities, homecoming is a huge event, you know, and it is a time for people to reconnect with their schools that they love so much. When I was at Michigan State during homecoming, I always felt like the alumni would come because, you know, like white people, they love to tailgate. They get really drunk and they trash. They would trash Michigan State. 
like just leave their garbage, leave all their beer cans and all of the workers who worked for the university, they would have to spend the next day cleaning up that big old campus. So I was always like, no, homecoming draws the drunks. But I feel like in the HBCU community, it is something special, you know? So I totally understand Marceau wanting Black to be in the midst of it all, in the, in the mix, so to speak, for the homecoming festivity. So I'm glad that he stepped out on faith I, and, and he opened up, he had his event. I hope that it goes smooth. I don't know how um, uh, local church leaders will like Uncle Luke being there, especially if he's going to be on the mic rapping some of his songs. That should be quite interesting, to say the least. I'm sure someone may stream it live. Uh, I would imagine that might be a video that YouTube won't really like too much. I don't know if it could be monetized, but that should be interesting, as well as the outfits. And yeah, I wonder will they do a contest for like the freakiest outfit or are they going to have a twerk off? We will just have to see. Also, so someone asked a question. I think that it was a joke, but Marceau clearly got offended. Someone asked him, you know, if Black Nick was going to be like a ditty party, like a freak off. Marceau tells the person, um, no, you know what, for you to even ask if this would be like a ditty party, I think you need to, don't stand on our couch. You go sit on someone's couch, get some help. Maybe you weren't good enough for a ditty party. I'm taking notes like, Whoa, Marso, I think that's a lot. I think they were making a joke. You're the one who's calling your party Black Nick and you're bringing Uncle Luke. What was, what was that person supposed to think? That was a very natural joke to make. We're in the midst of a Diddy saga. The thing is, had I caught his live in real time, I probably would have made the same exact joke. So I don't know why he had to go there. Why does that person have to go see a shrink and not be good enough for a ditty party. I consider that to be a blessing. If you are not good enough to be in a ditty party, God is blessing you in a mighty way and you should be thankful, okay? So I thought he kind of went on the deep end. It was kind of reminding me of season one of Love and Mary Chuntsville when he and Tisha would go live immediately after the show and they would be arguing with the viewers, getting easily offended, and not comprehending what's called an opinion. They could not deal with that. They, they dealt with it in a horrible way. You know, I think now perhaps they're getting a little bit better at ignoring stuff, but then we see they do have relapses, hence his Instagram Live. And also, you know, someone asked him, <laughs> Now, this was shady, but I thought it was funny. They said, do people ever tell you that your outfit is not hitting? And it was like, of course, a thousand times. Look, you know, I'm not that person that people say that I'm dressed well. Does he look like Idris Elba? Maybe. Uh, excuse me. No, I would bet money that the odds of people telling you that your outfit is hitting is much higher than someone saying that you favor Idris Elba. Not, not by a long shot. If they tell you that, Marceau, they are perjuring themselves. Um, but go to the feds immediately. Like, they need to be investigated because WTF. But, y'all, today, that's my commentary on Marceau's video. But today feels like a holiday. You know, Melody goes live. At the time of me filming this video, her TikTok live starts in an hour and 25 minutes. I DM Melody last night. I said, I feel like, I'm, I said, I'm so excited. It feels like I'm going to a concert tomorrow. You know, like, it feels like I'm about to go see the Queens or R&B. Like, there's, like, that anticipation, anxiety, because I'm so excited. That's how it feels. I am so happy for her. And I'm thankful that Miss Van could go with her and help her take care of the kids. I'm thankful that they were blessed with that beautiful vacation home and the chef has been there preparing meals. I'm just so thankful the way that things work out. I really, really do. I really, really am. 
So um, I know it's going to be a great TikTok show. I have a lot of positive energy within me that I'm sharing with Melody right now. And I'm just oh so happy for her. And I'm so happy for all of you too. I hope that you're having a great weekend. Yesterday, I saw the Halle Berry movie. Now I get it if you're not into scary movies. This one, you're not gonna struggle to go to sleep at night, I don't think. But you know, it really deals with when you are growing up and your parent is drilling something into you and you are thinking for yourself and you're just questioning, well, why? Why do we have to do this? Why is this like that? Because the world appears like this. And when parents, some parents may withhold some very key information. And then you mix those lessons with like horror and you've got Never Let Go by Halle Berry. Her production company produced it. And of course, Halle Berry, wonderful actress, but those little boys could act as well. I was very impressed. So, you know, maybe not today because we have Melody's TikTok live, but during the week or on the weekends, if you love going to the movies just as much as I do, and you have a few hours, couple hours, definitely check out Never Let Go and let me know what you thought about it. All right. Well, I will talk with you all very soon. Again, please hit the like button on this video, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk with you all later. I'm sure I'll do like a reaction video to Melody's TikTok live. I know not to stream it live because the goal is to encourage people to go over to TikTok. You know, if you're comfortable, if you want to, do not feel shy about creating a TikTok account so you can enjoy live and be in the live chat. And you want to, if at anything, shop through TikTok. The sales are amazing. You know, you can get free shipping. It's wonderful. So I will talk with you all soon and take good care. Bye.